What's up guys, this is the Rofeman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So to round up on last time, I finally finished off the Plains Nations, I think, in the Black Hills. However, they still do not like me, even though I've exempted them from tax, but that should go away once I knock down their government building and replace it with my own. And then this army will replenish and then shift on up to take York Factory, and in due course we'll go down and hit Moose Factory and Fort Salt St. Murray. Uh, Huron territory and I've also got action over here in the Russian theater with this army laying siege to St. Petersburg and I think um, I'm going to assault because as it stands St. Petersburg has no walls so I can deal with the mortars aren't a massive problem I've got good cavalry to flank around and hit them if I, if I could get the opportunity and I've also got this Russian stack coming from uh, it's the Estonia, yeah, your Estonia area and Livonia. They're coming from the west as well. So I think I'd rather hit them now while I've got a chance, and then at least I can capture this region and then start using the army board to churn out troops because I have tons of cash and it would end up being easier if I can just generate troops um, locally to Russia. I think that'd be the smart thing to do. Then I've also got this army here. Agostin de Santillan, I can't remember what I was going to do with him, so he is just going to get... Oh, I think it was the, oh, I think it was the Russian article. No, no, that was it. It was, going to get, it was to go hit Crimea. That was the plan. It was to bring this, these guys back to here and then ship this navy to Crimea. That's what it was. Start fighting into south, southern Russia. So I think I might... Oh... Is it worth assaulting? They're pretty depleted mostly. Oh, just, just do that. I know that sucks, but it wasn't a real... wasn't a proper battle. Let's get walls in. In build. And let's replenish to get ready for the inevitable Russian response. And here's the Russian Navy. Which is junk. So don't need to worry about them. My prime navy here in the Baltic, in the Gulf of Finland. So ready to hit them, but I need to be be ready to be hit by lots of Russians. I think I am close to wanting to declare on Oh god, let's trade with Sweden. Oh, fair enough. I think but we're close to declaring war on uh declaring war on Prussia, because we're at war with Afghanistan. No, not war with Afghanistan. We're at war with Russia. Uh, Quebec's Quebec. Don't have to worry about them. But there could be a few sparring matches up here. Well, to be honest, I could just recruit another army. So you're recruiting... Okay, let's not do that. Let's recruit from the army instead. Then let's get... Get some twelve pound howitzers. Get some twenty-four pound of the like twelve pound of foot artillery. Get some twelve pound of howitzers. And we get one more unit. So let's get some. Uh, let's get a unit of marines. Then we've got a pretty decent unit. Oh uh, God, I've, I've been really churning these out, haven't I? Actually, this is the army that took Philadelphia. Hmm. Well, I think you... Well, actually, what I might do is take your nav take your militia out and send them to a port. And what have you got in terms of cavalry? Yeah, I could steal this unit of colonial light. So I'm probably going to send these guys... Well, Jamaica's going to be taken out by this stack in the Wimbled Islands. Mm, yeah, you're going to go to. Is that fucking... Oh, that, that belongs to Aust to um, Austria, doesn't it? I traded it away. And I'm allied with the Marathas anyway, so you're going to go to Europe, and I'm going to deploy you in the uh, in the Russian theater, I think. Good. And you occupy this port. 
because this is a lot of firepower for continental US. Got one stack inland, and then here I've got one, two, three, four, five. That's a lot of firepower. So ultimately, you're probably going to be you're going to be shipped across the sea as well. To be honest, I might even send you to secure. I was about to say secure Copenhagen, but holy moly, that's an elite stack with some what are they? Swiss guards. Yeah, Prussia's done a good job. Uh, stupid mouse. So I'm going to need to keep my navy in pretty tip-top shape. I'm going to have to have them be doing lots of raiding. So who's in here? Oh yeah, you're recruiting lots of Indiamen. This is my dockyard, isn't it? Still fourth, but I'm upgrading to a dry dock so I can get seconds. Good. I need a couple of stacks to help just raiding Prussian ports and things like that. Okay, but first let's... I have time for... I was about to say, just remember to take St. Petersburg. I've already got St. Petersburg. Cool. Let's hit end turn. Let's wait for the inevitable Russian response. The Brits are going to do their local... their traditional ferrying of troops around from port to port. The Genoans are still being cheeky little scamps. And the Prussians are... Get out of my territory. I think I'm going to do it this turn. I might declare on the Prussians. Because they shouldn't have much of a navy to stop me. Unless I have that army that's in Lisbon. And when that army comes across the Atlantic, I'll land them both on Copenhagen. Because once I might be a bit unsure about. Because they might be a bit on their own. Yeah, may as well. See, you're demanding an alliance with for money. I'm not going to offer that. I'm not going to give you money. Even though I've got plenty of money to spare, I don't like giving it away. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Oh, I forgot about Building that. Farms here you wrote, didn't like me. Population to grow over time and produce tri Let's do another. You're all replenishing. To be honest, there's only a couple of units that are pretty ragged. The rest of you are okay. Right, let's start recruiting a second army. See what new. The limits on the household cavalry, so I'll get a unit of cuirassiers as well. Get two horse guard artilleries, two twelve pounders, two howitzers, and unit of lifeguards. Cool. Let's do some more, another round of money. Money investing. Money investing. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Let's go fishery, dry dock in Iceland. Just straight up to Naval Hospital. Don't worry about steamships. So I'm going to fight. I'm going to have to fight the Quebecs as well. But you're depleted. This garrison isn't, but it's lots of cavalry and NAF colonial units. Right. So, before we do anything, to be honest, you'll probably be you'll probably be safe enough. Diplomacy, Prussia. Let's have a look at how much trade I'll be losing. None, because they're being blockaded. Ally with Russia, Quebec, Afghanistan. Open negotiations. Cancel trade agreement. Open. Declare war. Question is... Actually, yeah, before I do that... Is Britain at war? Britain's, Britain's not at war with anyone. They've declared peace. With Prussia. Shall I call them in? Why not? 
let's try spark off a global war. Britons refuse to join me, but the Marathas have. Excellent. So that means Britain is now... Whoop, stupid map. Britain's, oh, Britain's still an ally. Hmm. Yeah, striking the Black Hills, but they're okay now. And you're doing another round of investing. Or replenishing. Senor. So I am at war with Quebec, so Soldado. move in. Mi senor. So what I want to do is this. I want to pin them in. Really, that's what I want to do. I would like I like I would have liked to have isolated this stack between two of them so that well preferably with this one to drive them back across the river. Because if I fought them now, I suspect they'd go this way. And I don't want to chase them. So then let's go down to here. So take my army out. You, you, you. Let's embark you all. Just galleons. So they've got an army here with actual elite infantry, so I want to do this, I think. Oh, wow, they've actually got. Why not? And let's do that. To stop them from being able to, to move any of their troops. Let's take this navy. Drop them off of Jamaica as well. So now they can't do anything unless they sail out to meet me. So have they got any good generals over here that could do with a killing? Eh, maybe you. Four stars. Got him! Now it's just a captain. Perfect. So now that's happened. Let's bring you over first. To have a scout. Because I doubt it would be possible for me just to run straight in. No bother. Hmm. Nothing so simple. But everything is utterly destroyed. So how much does pressure earn out of that? It earns a lot. So let's just raid it. Let's take this sloop. Over here and drop them off the coast. Then let's take my sloop and raid their port. And then let's also take you. Whoa. Oh, you cannot move as far. Let's bring you in to raid this port. Maybe you might divert one stack for long enough for them to go this way before heading east to deal with this stack on their own. They do have horse, they have horse, horse, horse artillery, 12 pounders, marines, lots of elite infantry. But so do they. They could be going to their doom. And that's what we pay them for. Cool. <laughs> so you are researching literally the worst tech possible for you to research. Do preserved foods. And are we building the new university in Mexico? We are. They're not very happy about it. But the food shortages are just really bad, even with two major fisheries. Hmm. Well, in not many, not many turns, it won't matter if I've not if I've got one there at all. Anyway, I think it's time to hit and turn. as he runs around with my spy. Come on, Brian, get involved. 
Land on the Prussians. Get your own back. They were invading you, man. So Prussia wants peace, if I give them... Like, no. It's not going to happen. Ooh, so they left Quebec open. Well, I'm definitely going to fight that, because you're actually depleted. Let's do it. Let's fight. Let's push you back off Copenhagen, bring my second stack in as a reinforcement, and fortify the hell out of it. That's a plan to me. Trouble is, though, it's the late game. I've got late game artillery. So do they. Oh, it's a nice, lovely, open, flat ground. So let's take... Five. Side core of infantry. Set them back a bit. Set up some guns. Set up another pair of guns. There we go. Let's do you, you. Do you with some irregulars on the flank. So where are my marines? My Mexican marines! They look absolutely brilliant. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's put a unit of cavalry on each flank. General in the middle. One regiment of howitzers with quicklime. Another regiment of howitzers with quicklime. No, can't fire shrapnel shot that far. But the artillery's going to come in and wreck them. <sighs> you guys, no, you can't. You guys can't place stakes. So my job isn't to let's try hit that that cavalry with my powitzers. It's my conventional artillery is doing a hell of a job. Right, you guys cast a shot against the first lancers. You try hit them too, although they're going to walk into my. right into my line. You try hit them too. Devastating. Maps we target them on that cover on the flank because these infantry groups are. Nothing, nothing to be worried about. Shatner shot. Blunderbuss gunners. You shatner shot. Freikorps. You shatner shot. That unit of regiment of grenadiers. You shatner all that unit of Freikorps. Swiss pikes coming in on the flank. They'll just get absolutely shot to bits. Let's turn you towards a more central target. Swiss guards, and let's get these howitzers to hit on the flanks. Let's run my cav run my cavalry out to the side. It's got some lances and light horse. So 
So they will get shot to pieces, but the first unit will. The second unit will be, remain fairly intact. So they're going after my cavalry. So you form square, you run away. That's quick there, yeah, that's quick line alright. Retarget my howitzers that are shooting quick climb. There we go, and then light horse should run out soon. God, this was a really weak army. See, they're running, because they know they can't afford to sit there being pounded by my artillery. Oh, this is going to hurt. Get in there and engage the, the lancers. You, let's get my gorillas to take a position in the line. Not that it's going to matter. Let's have my infantry run. Oh, run into position. I thought it retargeted my howitzers. Clearly not. Form an impromptu square. Let's run the regiment of horse out of the way. Here we go. Good old canister shot. These guys still firing shrapnel shot because they're at a bit of an angle. Actually, you hit that unit of Grenadier horse, Grenadier guards. You better be quicker than that. Yep, they've hit my guns, so kind of shot them instead so you don't kill your own men. waiting for that. Oh, they're actually going to charge my guns with the regiment of grenadiers. Oh, so close. Oh, my God. So let's get these guys out of... Well, they're out of... Let's get them out of square. to you over there. Oh. Ah, oh, the pike. Oh, right. Unif Pikes has managed to hit the line. And I know charging them with cavalry is a bad idea. But to be honest, it's better than doing nothing. Stupid group mechanics. Straight into him. Uh oh, that's not good. Where are you shooting? Yeah, they've spun around, done a lot of damage to my to my cavalry, but I need to. So let's get you back in position. Use my cavalry to chase down their their unit. Let's get this guy to chase down my unit. This unit of flight court. Let's get you to run, chase down that unit of grenadiers. And then let's get you. I oh, know where you're already engaged. Everyone, round shot. That 
unit of demi cannons. Well, then let's triple speed it. There we go. Continue. And then let's just halt fire with all my artillery anyway. Yeah, definitely get them our formation for this. Aye, they're all going to make it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But still, apart from that loss of a cavalry unit, it was still a good win. And it also means that they are going to... Oh, actually, if the, you run at a weird angle for long enough, my cavalry will catch up. Good. No, nuts, I didn't see that line. Still, the the might not make it garrison free. The hope will be that... Oh, they've actually gone to that little spit of land. So where are the Prussians going to go? They're going to raid. Good, they've gone around to try kick my troops out of their region. Ah, and they have also come and try to attack us at Montreal. Good. More Prussians we can kill on the field, the better things will go for us. So let's. I've I've seen what I never thought to be possible: a single line of infantry breaking through Leon's cavalry ranks, all of battle, and tumble them to ruin. Huh. Poor terrain. So let's. Well, firstly, let's. Not good terrain at all. Let's anchor on my camp, some artillery against this house. So I want to sit back so I can get my formations going. Not a good, not efficient position of my infantry, but nevertheless, this might be necessary. Same with you, and then let's drop a couple of militia units out right on the flank. Because at least to fire by rank, my units in here can still provide a bit more fire. So that's my right flank sorted, and my left is looking very weak, so you will get the cavalry. General. So let's see if we can coax some of their cavalry in to do battle. That's a lot of artillery. Let's have them do round shots so at least they can contribute. There we go. Ideally, I can get some of these dragoons to join a giant. Ooh, did you kill some of your own men? Maybe. I've killed some troops, but not enough to make them rout.
So it is very nice of them to keep all this cavalry running around by their artillery, because it means even if I miss, I still hit something. But the hope is as they move forward, as they move forward, they will trigger more of my... Actually, what's the range on Quick Climb? That's how... That's the range on Quick Climb, is it? Well, let's start using Quick Climb then and start punching some holes in into these uh, infantry units. So, two, well, 180 cuirassiers, that's not going to be... But once we get to the chop, I think I'll lose against all of that cavalry. But still, I get a lot of them. So let's just trot them along. Alright, some mounted tribal auxiliary. You'll find where you are. I will just stretch my line out to maximise the guns on target. I think they're about to get within range of my militia. Ooh, they've stayed just out. Good. Maybe on the foot artillery's route. So we've killed all of their men. See, now that's not looking too silly. That's two units of Dragoons that have cleared off. 97, 100, 91. There you go. So they've started, op started opening fire against their Tribal Auxiliary. They're winning slightly, but to be honest, if they keep, it won't take long for them to, to peter out. Unfortunate the native bows have got such a good position against my inf my infantry. These are dragoons, so they can fire their weapons at me. Hope they're trying. Hope they're trying to target my militia. Is that another artillery unit? Yes, it is. Yeah, I'm very much micromanaging my cavalry at the minute. Nope, they are targeting my line infantry. And that's bad. But once my militia beat this unit, we'll spin them around. Right. Get them! You can chop, chop up one unit of Dragoons. Easy peasy. That's, that's right, come help them. So the actual infantry battle should be fine. Run straight into that unit. Yep. Infantry mercenaries, colonial militia. Charge them if they want to charge. Yep, you will be winning slightly. So you fire at that unit and that unit. Let's go back to my cavalry. Yeah, you're doing great. Uh oh. So 
Let's try, if I can run them out that way. And do that, if I can target them right. Should I do shrapnel shot and maybe might be able to hit that unit of dragoons at the back? Nope, I can't because they've not reloaded. Should be chopping through those dragoons. Good, and the cavalry is routed like they should be doing. Yeah, we're destroying these dragoons, so this is where heavy cavalry is just so good. It's like, yeah, during on the charge, it's not so great, but you plonk them in a combat, and you're like, no, they will just chew through you. Granted, they're slow, they run out of puff. But they're just great. Hope just open fire now. Good old militia's good enough for you. Uh oh. More more cavalry. But they're broken already. Good. Target the militia against this colonial unit. Are they withdrawing of their own free will. And that unit, let's round shot that militia unit. Then let's just keep running. Run straight into that American mercenary unit. Don't bother fighting them. Just getting shot at by militia is just the easiest way for them to get kills. Go on, let's charge into them my own militia. Good, let's knock them out. Again, these American mercenaries, they should be chopped through because they're only effectively light infantry or very least militia. But there we go, let's speed it up because this battle's over now. And then let's continue. fighting. Don't bother getting my... Oh, should I get my general in? Yeah, I probably should. And let's turn off all my artillery. No, my general's not going to be... not going to be here in time to get involved, so just forget him. You never know what happens with the AI targeting. If you all wheel left, you'll get loads of them. <laughs> See, how dumb was that? But they are going to get away. But it's a decisive victory, which is all to the capture Canada back. Oh yes, a lovely exchange ratio. Back you go. So bear in mind there is another Prussian stack that's gone north, the north side of the river. So that's something to bear in mind. Don't forget him running around the countryside. Are the Ottomans going to get their territory back from the Genoans? It's 
the Savoyards. Good, the Russians are falling back, doing a little bit of friendly raiding on the way, which is fair enough. I have just taken their territory, so I do not blame them. There you go, my army is being recruited. And replenish again. She's getting a guard unit. Let's get another guard unit. And two grenadier units. Caracas's engineer school. We are pretty much fully upgraded. She's got a governor's palace. See, Reykjavik, you're now actually producing some goods. Producing some money. Replenish and move up. Can I move this guy out of this territory yet? Absolutely not. They're still livid. So let's send you up to Quebec. Yep. <laughs> Quebec is ours. And it's completely damaged. And then we're going to move in and fight this guy. But looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.